All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hello, 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 hello. It's a very special day today. I'm excited. Okay, it just keeps going. All right, we'll we'll just um we'll, we'll just remove that. We'll just delete that one. Go go away. Go away timer. All right. Hello. How's everybody doing? Um it looks like I'm not on the screen, but that's because I'm below the screen. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me pull myself up. Let me see. Can I can I reach my hand up? No, I don't think that I can. All right. But I'm still here. I'm I'm always here. Yep. Always here. Hello. Uh check it out. Eh? I got a new model. It's the same model, it's just retextured. I'm pretty happy with this. Look at this. I'm a troll, motherfuckers. Hell yeah. All right. Um yeah. Uh it's Homestuck Day. I um it's been a very long time since I've uh been actively homestucked. Uh but for some reason I like I just followed some people and it got back on my dashboards and I now um, I'm back. Unfortunate as it may be, um, I, I'm I am back in it. Let me let me also re-enable. Yeah, there's the little guy, little guy, littlest guy. Well, yeah, a uh, fucking troll. I, uh, it, it, it was very interesting just like basically deleting interesting parts of my model to make it work better. Um, I could have gone for a more interesting outfit, but eh, this is recognizably troll shirt. So it's what I would wear normally. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, uh I guess sort of fan made logo for Andromeda, similar to the other celestial, um, icon. So this is the Andromeda. Thing. It makes sense because it's the it's the chains because it's the chained princess, you know. Uh, I got I got some fucking horns up here. Eh eh. Huh? Let me do let me do like it. Yeah, hell yeah. Going around town. All right. So yeah, uh, fucking homestuck, baby. Um. I don't know if there's any actual news happening today. I doubt that there is. It's been 10 years. It's been over 10 years. Like, what, did it start in 2010? So it's been 13 years? That's at least what I saw based on the, um... The only thing that I've seen about this, uh, about Homestuck Day today, uh, in this year, has been the Requiem Cafe collaboration. That's happening in California. So not here, where I'm at, because I'm not there in California. So, you know, but, uh, yeah, figured, hey, I know how to do modeling and stuff. I can do the Mr. Beast, ah, fucking, <laughs> god damn it. The, it, it. It sucks that this facial expression that I've put on, uh, works that well. Maybe I should just go over to the tired facial expression instead. Ugh. I'm just a, I'm just a fucking, I am, I'm a streamer in the empire, in the troll empire, and, uh, if I'm not entertaining, the drones kill me, so I have to, but I, I haven't, uh, I haven't slept in weeks. I've, I've been nonstop streaming videos game. I've been testing out games to make sure they don't destroy the world. Um, so far... So good, you know. 
No, no planets have been destroyed so far. Um, no universes have been killed because some fucking dude with a gun just shot the thing that makes our universe happen. Uh, so that's nice. You know, it would, you know, it, it, it's good. We're, 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 we're good here. We're <sighs> okay. All right. So let me go ahead and update the, uh, the stream category. Cause I'm going to be playing hive swap act one. Now, this is my first time playing this game. So, we're going to have... Uh, this is going to be a fun time for everybody. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Oops, forgot to move OBS. Now I can't see. Horse. working properly. Okay, cool. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, we'll go ahead and transition over. I'm gonna make myself be in the right spot. Yeah, the gaming spot for gamers. Nope, a little bit too far. There we go. This is the gaming spot for gamers. This is where the gamers game. It's down in the bottom corner of the screen. Man, get your big ass horns out of the way of the chat. I can't see. No. I refuse. I'm a fucking... I'm a little fucking shit. That's my deal. Alright. Okie dokie. Hive swap. This is my first time playing this game. Uh, I have, uh... I read... All of Homestuck, I've read, I read the Snapchat epilogues, I read the, um, I used to read Paradox Space when those comics were still being made and updated, um, but I never played Hive Swap. I think I tried once, but it might have been a demo. But let's just go ahead and get started. Eh, fucking doggy. Stop looking in your binoculars. Sorry, you're gonna need a minute. Okay, give yourself a minute, minute, minute to freak out because of the monster, the thing with all the legs and teeth, the one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. You take a deep breath, let the uncertainty slip away into the to the arm raggling darkness, and focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Claire. You live just outside the town of Haunt Switch. You are in no particular order a puzzle solver, solver a semi orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an inspiring veterinarian, and, and a big sister. Speaking of, that monster, uh, the one that b barely missed eating you alive, only you're not thinking about that right now, it might be headed back outside to where your little brother is. You've got to warn him. These posters, they resonate so mad powerfully with the core of your being. The animals, the magic, the power! They whisper to you in your dream the secrets of a better world on the other side of the stars. Oh, yeah? Your babysitter gave you this for your birthday, Joey, she said. This wizard's the best. He lives in his little wizardy orb, just swimming in the spells and glitter. He'll protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. Hmm. A wizard-loving babysitter. 
I've heard of that before. It's it, it's it's Roxy, right? Mom won this award around the same age as you for being best at ballet. It's pretty. It should be pretty safe on the shelf, which is the point of shelves, you suppose. Look. Ooh. Your fashion statement to be uh, fun and comfortable. I also agree. Thanks, Joey. Ah, Clarissa. She really does explain quite a few things. Except, of course, precisely where she gets her clothes and how she manages to look so great all the time. You could try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least uh, uh, one party offering compulsory reaction shots for each outfit? Who's going to give you an affirming head nod when you finally nail it? These are important. They're important things to consider before you carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. That's true. Sir Bappy Pawsat, Pawswater, will tend to his own fussums for a while. You got a lot of crap on your plate right now. Ooh. You briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past, the future, America? It's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. Hmm. Alright, let's find a way to get in touch with him. Second mom. Mother two? Mother three? It's only available in Japan, but there's this kid at school who says his uncle works at a games company. And he says he gets to play all sorts of secret games before they come out here. He runs off at the mouth like he has all this insider information and sources inside the game companies, but honestly, I think he's just desperate for attention. You tend to ignore him and focus on more pleasant things, like this super cool poster, Second Mom Rules. Alright, so we got, uh, we got Mother 3. We've got Shush over what looks to be, is that Bubsy? We've got Block Hustle. The game is descending columns that disappear as lines of film, but uh, you can only find a poster of the American box art. Okay, so this is Tetris. What could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say if you were here. <sighs> Star Avenue, Ginger Rogers. Yo, is that fucking... What the fuck is that? That's sick as fuck. Sick as shit. The bounty hunter's advice for dealing with monsters would probably be to shoot them, or change your shape, or both at once. She's cool, but difficult to emulate. The story keeps happening. That's... Yep, so true, bestie. Acorn's Shadow. Was the last unicorn? Surprisingly dark for a show about a group of horse friends. It centers down it canters down some troublingly psychological roads. Magical Animal Companion Heal Rescue is your favorite Japanimation. To your companion. Eh, it's a whole great. It's great, no fighting, just healing, you love it. Can Canadian Campfire sc Spookums? Hot stepping. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Got it. Cool. Nah, there's mom and his dog, and there's. You don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but me think, but you think today will be a different story. Maybe take a moment to record a note just now, just in case it is your last chance to write your final set of words. You'll have to use your diary key. Well, I don't think I have my diary key. Do I have an inventory? Let me try and find items. Ooh. Ooh. After this, though, you should really go get the walkie-talkie, since you just remembered you cannibalize the batteries from the walkie-talkie to power this game. Okay, that's enough yelling. Yeah! Can I get the batteries after I do, Simon Says? Might as well scavenge the batteries. Yeah, I scavenged the batteries because I beat it. Alright, time to find that walkie-talkie that I've been hearing so much about. Ah, there it is. Get. The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. The guy putting batteries into things is technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It's overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, widely available modern technology. <coughs> Homestuck. Writing. Hurt. 
You don't care, though. You're counting it. Jude, you there? You all right? Yes. Been co covertly signaling status and requesting yours. Over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easily decipherable code. Over. Enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait, unover. Still unconfirmed via V, your condition following enemy serpent encounter. Over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross? Over. I'm fine, no bites, you weirdo, but thank you for asking. It was a close one. Great, was worried over. That reminds me, after I shut the door I, uh, on it, I think I heard it clomping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. No plans of leaving current locations. Yard crawling with cryptid vanguard. Over. Cryptid vanguard? Missing big picture, Joey. Over. Okay, maybe a little less obtuse then. Purely defensive posture, tactically suicide. <laughs> Monster's likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach. Over. You mean like more monsters, or... Can't discuss on unsecured channel, can't be certain who's listening. But Evans points to an Antares-class conspiracy cascade. Over. What? Over. Relieved you're taking this seriously. Are you totally prepared to begin forward operations? No going back now, Joey. Over. I was making fun of you, Dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tipped equation away from spectacle skepticism. Over. I trust you. Your current position, not secure. Large yard facing window. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must have scummed to attic, Joey. Over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with tactical materiel. Take left out of bedroom. Go upstairs. Highest room in house. Over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother. Don't understand. You, sound conf you sounded confused trying to help. Over. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... Call her babysitter. Yeah. Too late to reach her at lab working day. Long done. Over. Oh no, you're right. Agreed on both counts. Babysitter capable strifer. Could help tip scales. Might also help convince you to get to safety. Dude, I'm gonna go to the stupid attic, okay? So I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon? Over. What weapon? You mean my old weapon? What for? Serpents swarming everywhere. Over. You want me to fight them with a flashlight? Don't blame me for being nervous with high concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where weapon is over? Yeah, it's in the closet. Understood. All set then over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap over. Yeah, well, I guess I'll have to take your word about all this. You are sure about all this, right? Absolutely extremely certain over. Over and out, squirt. Okie doke. Let's go on the internet. Your modem always makes a mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth riling up any hallway snakes to surf your sites right now. Not like there's much new to see anyway. You're sure that Jude would let you know if anyone in your web ring had updated their sites. Can I turn it off then? No? Okay. Junior Veterinarian's med kit. It's kind of important to you, so I think you'll leave it here for now. It would really bust you up if something happened to it. But it's a med kit, though. Whoa. It's November 1994 crazy oh you've already marked today's date as part of your daily routine if anyone claims you didn't exist on the date of November 10th 1994 you can shove that big red X right in front of their face and prove them wrong <sighs> alright I gotta find the diary key where's the diary key search puppy surprises having puppies and there's the... Hello? That's a juju. No one ever thinks to look for your precious diary key inside a plush mother dog. Speaking of precious keys, there is also a beautiful old trinket that used to belong to your mom. You have honestly, you, are, you have no idea what it is, but listening at you reminds you of her. <sighs> a deep, inexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling? Yeah, no, I would think so. There we go. Nice juicy secrets in here. Uh, uh, they're your boring secrets, so you don't care. Joey Claire. Yeah, it is Roxy. Now, yeah, how lame is it that you made him call him instead of dad while we were growing up? I gave him to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure, some quality adult supervision we inches are getting around here. She means well, though. Well enough, though. 
Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped into the house to drop uh, off more stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on another adventure. I'm his mom. All right. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary, ho hum, not much happened today. Better make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social security beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Ah, well, you know what I mean, diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. These kids at school are jerks, though, and they call me a poser when I try to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be evil. Jeez, now I'm sitting all par paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. June 12th, first day of summer vacation. Can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I, what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Uh, da, 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 da. Been back to school for a while now. Uh, and there's... Yeah, well, I already read this. If this is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you're snake chow. Dear diary, forget my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a little excited. Anyway, I can't talk much right now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl. Perhaps hungry for kid meat, too. So I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I'll have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it, Joey. Uh, you relock your diary and hide the key again. Safe and sound. Where'd I hide it, though? If writing a diary about tactics, please share. Over. I'm hanging up now. Not a phone over. Click. Dial tone. Can't see you through a window. You're making sound of mouth. Over and out. Well, time to go. You really l like this person. We can't really say why it's pretty. You like the expression on the ballerina's face. Yeah, I'm in a sneeze. <coughs> yeah, look at this game system. Games, gaming. Whoop, I clicked out of the window. I clicked on OBS. I have fucked up now. Now I have fucked up. It wasn't locked? Looks the coast is clear for now. Better hurry over to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon for the crafty old serpent. Uh, you mean snake can get the drop on. So I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and head up to the attic, right? Affirmative also refrain from excess chatter, over. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, bye. Could alert monsters, over. Yeah, I got it, I'm going. Be can't be too careful in espionage game, Joey. Silence golden, over. Dude, shut up. Remember one time on my training mission, uh, co co couldn't keep my trap shut? Ooh, boy, really ended us in a pickle, over. You've never had any training of turning off the walkie by. Over and... Things always giving you the creep, but that didn't stop you from patching it up if Jude accidentally ripped it with an experimental foamless dart. That's just a real dart then, huh? You don't use guns. Damn. Let's see. Anything... Ooh. Fucking love these fucking things. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Okay. Is this the hall closet? Yeah, it is the hallway closet. Cool. I see it. I can't search the box while it's still up on that shelf. Do I need some sort of step? That's not good. Mothman, uh, Russian radiation, fish, uh, fish monster. To stop radiation, remove key from PA interlock. PA interlock. Open. He always keeps it locked. The P is a pet to deal with. No thanks. He's got. He's got a pet. Hmm. Where to find something to step on? Oh, okay. Bunch of stuff, some fucking bugs, a slinky. Bunch of, uh, bunch of stuff. Well, I need my flashlight first, damn it. 
Stop clicking on things that you shouldn't be clicking on. step should be. Your tap shoes might just be the solution going. I can tumble that box off the shelf with my tap shoes. I don't have tap shoes, though. Where would my tap shoes be? Tap shoes, tap shoes, tap shoes. Are they back in my room? I might not be good at puzzles. <laughs> huh. Oh, there they are. Ha. <laughs> Whoops. Can I, I can't, I can't just shake it. I have to use it on stuff. That's so cringe. I was gonna, I was gonna tap the shit out of, uh, I was just gonna, uh, fucking do it. Yeah! Fucking schmoovin'. An old pair of ballet slippers. These will come in handy. Pet treats in here, too. Uh, you keep caches of these all over. You never know when you need to treat a pet. Another battery problem. You open it up. There's no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, Jude. Found my old strife weapon. It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. No. I'm throwing them all away. Joey, please! This is my favorites! Over. I'm not really throwing them away, you nerd. What do you take me for? Thanks, over. Guess I head up to the attic now. That's the plan, over. I better shake a leg then. Affirmative, over now. Hey, but I have pet treats now. And a pet treat, that's fine. Add some D cell batteries. Okay. I don't have any D cell batteries. And I didn't see any. So I guess I'm just gonna go up the hall to the, uh. to the fucking, uh. Oh. Hey, I'm spooked. Weird, what the heck was that thing? And how long has it been there? Hey, attic, the attic door's locked. Cripes, forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part, over. It's fine, no big deal. Just left to the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway because of my dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of a locked door. It is not fine, over. Panic not necessary. Still need to get you to attic, over. For safety, right. Well, whatever, I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that, over. Though so far, it hasn't really paid off. You just need to head to the trophy room, over. Gross, I hate that place place. Why does he even need a special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up in his stupid adventures? We'll find key to attic there. The mysterious wounds of absent father not relevant over. Fine. Over now. So this is, I guess, j j <sighs> You wonder what her family's like, but it's probably not your place to ask. All right, so these are just, all right. I, I didn't realize that, jo that Joey and Jude were so integral into the story of, uh, of uh, Hamsteak. I didn't know that her dad was just Jake. Mom is the picture, ever the picture of Grace and Radiant. And Pa is just Pa. Has he ever changed his look? 
Sometimes you wonder if he was born with his spectacles and mustache. Oops. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Alright, down to the trophy room. What's he so happy about? He is pretty happy, isn't he? Dog! Good dog, best friend. Well, it seems the power's out. That should make the trophy room quite the adventure, which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Hmm. Salvage? Dead batteries, of course, seems to be running theme. Bookshelf contains several of Pa's books, including Pistols Pelts, How to Turn Sweet Intelligent Animals into Weird Rags and Stuff. Teach Yourself Taxidermy, I guess, and Safari, Stories of Bold Men and the Animals They Killed from a Distance, even though they weren't hungry and did not intend to eat them. Woof. Yep. Handheld gaming device. Batteries in this thing are not the ones you need. Got it. Pet vet, the doctor is out. Ooh, boy, these are ass. Hmm. This piece was too depressing, so you give it a nice refinish. If your pa has a problem with it, he's welcome to say so the next time he's actually around. One, you wonder if you'll be driving by then. To college. Where you teach because you're an adult and 20 years have passed. Brutal. Ah, the blue ladies. The ladies in his paintings are eerily beautiful, although every, maybe everyone would look like that in blue. The lamp, goodness, you need to meet the lady who modeled for it someday. Hmm. Whoop, darn. Score, you put pocket the E cell batteries right into the old Silidex. Unfortunately, that's D cell batteries, yep. <sighs> Ugh, terrifying. I didn't like that. Something's blocking the door to the trophy room, yeah. Need electricity retrieve key anyways. Can't discuss over unsecured channel. Alright, so we need to restore power to the house. Well, that looks like a good way to do it. The awful static sounds like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. Yeah, but is there, um... D don't these things have batteries in them? Yeah! D cell batteries? Ah, okay, these are the D cell batteries. You're on fire! To flashlight fully functional and fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low light environments, and also to beat the bejesus uh, out of any of these creeps that get too close. Although it's last resort, of course. Oh, Chinese. We don't like taking out the trash. Ooh. The tube highway that Jude's pet uses to get around the house. You haven't seen it tonight, fortunately. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. No chance of being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over there. Damn. What if I tap dance? That'd shake this mummy Napoleon guy right out of this, his busy aesthetic. There'd be one way to get past him, but it would make an awful mess. Oh, you never dance with soldiers. They'll just steal your heart and tr then leave you on a three-year tour. Oh, I've got a phone call. Any hot tips for getting the power back on? 
Power outage seems to grant invaders significant advantage over. That's not really a tip. That's more like an explanation for why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Circuit paper probably in basement. Over. That was very helpful. Thanks. Doing my best. Over and out. But how to get past him? Do I give him some treats? If you create an association in your dog's mind between mummy and food, you're going to walk in here one morning to find a heap of linen and chewed on bones with a silly hat perched on top. Yeah, true. What about Pogs? You want some Pogs, Napoleon? You try to slip one in his pocket, but the pants are too tight. Jeez, just look at them. Like they were painted on. It's... Wow, haha, <laughs> what were you doing? You're even out of dog food. Your backyard used to be so much more awesome before the monster showed up. Hmm. A way to m get rid of the... Whoever painted it must have a very good imagination. As that, they painted it very, very fast. Hmm. How am I going to get out of this sticky situation? Hmm, I feel like I would need to use the e-cell battery somewhere, but I don't know where. Hmm. It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. Damn. Maybe I have to go up to um up to the room and give the snacks to the pet now. You wonder which one is older. Weird, even though you're you know your heirloom is pretty old. Nah. It doesn't show any signs of wear whatsoever. It looks like it could have been made today. Hmm. Does he even know what a battery it is? Did he ever? No, no he didn't. Hmm. I don't see anything else that could be used as... Could use the batteries for even for an e-cell battery. So I guess we'll go back upstairs and try out the um Oh wait, this is sort of torn. No, that's not thing. Okay. Oh, that would be just a thing, wouldn't it? For some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to be set for the tone for this adventure. Shame that would probably provoke you. Provoke a bunch of monsters. Well, best thing I can think to do would be to go upstairs. Just keep on looking. Hmm. 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 What in the world? Nope. Hmm. 
Well, I'm stuck. What to do? What to do? I feel like I would need to get the pet. Maybe I put the, uh, the snacks near an opening? These aren't for Jude's pet. It has a very specific diet. Okay, so maybe put them here. You would try to summon your precious dog for support, but your precious dog is currently cowering in the doghouse. You can see her through the window. You let her, st her stay where it's safe? Safer, at least. Yeah, it's fair, I guess. Oh, that's a door to go somewhere. Betty Crocker! Sometimes cracks into your pot of special reserve, which she tends to do down here, and so you and Jude don't see. You aren't sure, really sure what to say about it, or if you have any business saying anything about it at all. Try to move one box, you'll find the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down on you. Have to get him up. A controlled tumble. Okay, tumble. Wah! Ah, the circuit breaker. Neat. I did it. Yay! Oh. Ah, fun. Cool. Strife! Alright, it's time to do this. Pirouette and bop. Pirouette luck next time. Snakes for the memories. Uh-oh. Graceful looks gone. Stretch your luck next time. Damn. Gotta hand it to you. Not the hands, not the hands. Uh, tap dance. Scuffle and scoop. I'm hot stepping. I'm hot stepping now. Check, please. Nice. No, not nice. Legger next. Legger luck next time. Okay. What's the taps? Ooh. I don't know what the battle system is. Nice! I got out of there. Busy, busy doing psyops or encroaching forces? Give you back light only to snatch it away? Described hypothetical, very cruel. It's dealing with sick operators over. No, it's just me, criminy Jew. That snake monster's down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him, but we'll probably need to deal with that at some point. Second encounter with said serpent, correct? Beast Wily. But sister already established superior will in its attribute over. Hey, thanks. I think. Trophy room should be trivial obstacle over. Uh, add a key, Joey. Eyes on the prize. Keep me in loop over and out. Well, now that the power's back on. Now what? All right, I go into the um, this room, which has something wet blocking the door. Okay, it's another creature. I hate creatures. What? What's this fucking thing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. The world's not ready yet for tap ballerina dancing. Please excuse me. Damn. Chew to tango. Damn. Choose your battles. Ow. I'm gonna hit you. No? 
light bite. Ooh. Capitizer. A roar. Jaw ready for this? Batter up, batter luck next time, biter luck next time. Man, it's just all the same, huh? Eat pogs, idiot. It was fruitless. Damn. Still not es escaping. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. That is creepy. Um, I'm gonna hit you. Didn't work. Hmm. I'm gonna tap dance on you and then hit you again. He really likes roaring, huh? Have a snack. Electrize on the prize. Hmm. All right, that's not the thing. Do I just dance away now? That I've given him a snack? No. Okay. Have more snack? Ah. Okay, more snack. Got it. Get the fuck out. Alright, cool. I got him the fuck out. Alright, monster inflicted death scene averted. You are unbelievably stressed out right now. You've sent it a wrong too. Attain rank of tail wagging Tyro. Max HP increased by 12, muscle increased by 7. Uh, attain rank of minute mammal mender. Alright, I, I ranked up a lot. So where's the key in his desk or something? Would never leave critical item in such obvious location over. Okay, but like, where did you leave it? I just had to lure a hungry monster out of here retreats. I'm not sure how much time I have for father or sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. If room compromise, can't discuss countermeasures on over unsecured line. Utilize puzzler skill set over. Fine. Call back of assistance required over now. What's going on with their deal? Huh. I, I recognize some of these things. Yeah, well. No puzzles here, I don't think. Any puzzles with the deer? Dude, I can't make heads or, heads or tails of this thing. What thing? I turned on a laser, but nothing else is happening? Thought you were a puzzle master. What, was it wrong, it seems? Hold on, over. I believe it's called for burns. McGruff Crime Dog experienced trouble? Unbelievable, over. Wait, discard previous burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Ventura, pet detective. Please respond if ice required. <laughs> nice try, dork. 
If you were a real tactician, you'd manage to get your burns out on the first try instead of requesting do-overs. Pride wounded but unable to protest. Have been informed mildly contentious banter to cornerstone of squad camaraderie over. Uh, yeah, anyway, how am I supposed to solve this thing? This is clearly a puzzle thing. It cries out to be solved. Use marbles over. I'm thinking as hard as I can, and I just, I, you know I like puzzles. Actual marbles. Trivial, really. What marbles? None nearby? No. Oops, over. You are now Jude Harley. Yeah, there we go. Na, 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 na. Hey, you. You made a rare tactical blunder. The marbles Joey needs to disengage your strategic defense globe are here in your treehouse. Time to call in the lone gunbirds. Where are the marbles, though? Chamber's empty because you observe proper flare gun safety protocols, but maybe you should load it because you've observed some scary stuff this evening. That's true. Flares! In the flare chest. Let's see. Ah, marbles. Better stick with two marbles. How am I supposed to know what marbles to use? Unnatural fog. 12 U.S. Congress members suspected of cult activity. Yesterday's Jersey Devils rose by 15%. Found near hill. Some scratches. Mysterious figures. Hmm. Well, that looks like a horrible monster thing. I'm trying to see if I can find anything. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Red and green. I see. There we go. When the heat is on for the government and you need to trust, uh, and you need to send an encrypted message while staying off the grid and trust you to, uh, you entrust it to one of your trained carrier pigeons, the Lone Gunbirds. There's Langley, Byers, and of course, Frohike. He's your favorite. Dear sweet Frohike. Uh, just a second, I gotta take a BRB. Mute. And unmute myself. Now I'm back. For real. <sighs> Sorry, I also have to, um... There we go. Got rid of the, uh, that one guy I had to ban. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 wreck. Here's Wheat Fro Hike. Well, okay, so can I give them... Go, Frohike! I believe in you! No! No! I must avenge you, Frohike! Sorry for hold up. Unbelievable tragic disaster over. Did you listen to something else? 
Must, must soldier on making second attempt now, over. Uh, all right, are you sure you're over? Over and out for like, God damn it. You're too good for this rotten, dark nightmare of a world. May the wings of chance and dream bear thee to thy rest on the white, sh sandy shores of paradise. Oh, like. Damn. Well, trying again. Hey. Come on, you can do it. Motherfucker. Piece of shit. Are you all right? Betrayal over. Abandonment over. Lowest vilest cowardice over. Can't even communicate true to grieve. Outrage over. Likely to jeopardize mission if emotion not suppressed over. Incoming over and out. Hmm. This is the last pouch that I have, I think. This is the last bird that I have. Come on, buddy. You can do it, please. Uh... Yes! Success! Success! Jeez, I'm Crow Byers, my boy, so brave, so true, so great, over. Are you actually just point blank losing your mind right now? It may be kind of a relief after years of buildup, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished! Byers, champion of champions, waiting for you in kitchen, over. Why? Over. Oh, yeah, Byers says Marvel's required to acquire key, over. Alright, I guess that sort of makes sense. New development, Byers, being menaced, please hurry, over. What? Uh, okay, I'm on it. Hurry, please, Joey, he's all I have left. Over now. Oh, no. Fucking thing found. Time to save buyers. Eat pogs, idiot. Flip skipped! Motherfucker! Eat batteries! Fine, eat. Hey, over here! Flesh, flesh. Nothing doing. Fucking A. No! Is that a flash or something that I saw? It was. Magic Spice Mix. Cayenne, you hear me? No time for this? Damn. Delectable. Delectable disdain. Damn. Again, like nobody's watching. Success? <laughs> mm. I can't combine the cayenne pepper with anything else that I have. Nothing else is gettable. Make some noise or some, or some light or that something or that pigeon's done for. Too precious to weaponize. Your precious heirloom is already quite magical. Thank you. No desire to eat it. No gilding a lily. Uh, no gilding that. Don't mix those up. Mm. Pardon me, boy. Okay, the noise one. Can you give me a shine? Throw him with daylight. Okay, now you're looking at me. How about I cayenne pepper you? Spice to meet you! Eh. 
get fucky shit. Mix success. Oh, because it was a mix that I hit him with. Joey, thank you for tactically brilliant seasonings murder. Bri Byers has payload. Repeat. Byers has payload. Thanks. Um, do you know how I might get him down? He seems pretty terrified. Negative Byers simply has unfortunate mercenary streak. Should respond to en enticement over. How do you grab a pigeon? Sounds like setup for riddle or perhaps joke over. Bye, Jude. Over and out. Would you like a yammy bite? You aren't sure these things are safe for birds after the violent strangled death of that monster. You're a little nervous about just feeding things to others at random. Maybe there's something safer around here, like bread. Bread-like, at least. Hmm. You're out of dog food. There's no pizza. I didn't see any bread. You want a pog? If pogs are what it takes to get him off the fridge, you can stay up there. I guess you saw a, bit, a fair, fair bit of your fancy work when you were dealing with that monster. It's empty. It's empty. No response. Either that or just per, uh, completely embraced. Garbage, but food. to get bread. Any bread in here? I'm not seeing anything bread-like even. Hmm. Are you bread? No. remote. The power's not out anymore. <sighs> hmm. Is there something on the table? Upstairs, that would be bread. Like, it should just be in the kitchen, probably. But this house is a complete mess, so who knows? Oh, okay, cool. It's in a cabinet that I can't see. A single lone cracker! Yeah! It's terrible! Hell yeah! Stale cracker! Stale cracker! This little fellow's buyers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure. Buyers. Gobbles in the stale crackers. You tuck them into your pocket. All right, cool. Here, remove the par par uh, marble pouch from around his neck, and believe it or not, shove the marbles into the empty eye socket. You discard the pouch. What an evening it's been. Byers picks up the tree with his beak and after a moment spits it back in your hand. Evidently he doesn't care for the taste. Either that or this bird is literally too dumb to know what food is. Okay, got the marbles. What, you want me to send the pigeon back? No, over. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to shout. Just worried. Please protect Byers. His chances of surviving return trip very remote. Over. Oh, yeah. Good point. It seems pretty dicey out there. Affirmative. Over. I'll just use these marbles or whatever then. I'll let you know how it goes. All I can make sense of is the X mark. Could it indicate treasure? Yeah, cool. Attic key. Got it. Heading up to the attic. Careful, may not be that simple over. What do you mean? None of this has been simple. It's been downright convoluted. Noticing hostile and elements grouping serpents massing over. Oh, jeez. We'll try to back you up if possible. Remain alert, sis. Over. Always Ambro. Over and out. Alright. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking guys. We gotta get out, get the fuck out of here. Big boy. Uh-oh. We have an eye. What? Huh? Oh, okay. Hey, wait. Uh-oh. K-O. Oh. Swap? Some way to distract the monsters. Maybe shoot a flare at this thing. Set it on fire. Flare gun. Okay. Can I cayenne pepper you? Anything you toss in there, you're never getting back. How about a battery? Do I unfortunately have to send in buyers? No, okay. Focus on the relatively smaller ones. Oh, cool. No excuses. TK. sort of generally shoot at the house. Divertisement titian it. Putting on the wrist. No vacancy. Turn around again. Yep, yeah, okay, that just worked again. Delighted to see ya. One left, dude. What are you waiting for? fire. Ow. Running, 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 running. Signature style and flare. Fuck. Now what the hell is going on in here? Joey, come in, please report status. Joey, hello, it's Jude. Joey, are you okay? Joey, please over. Yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely made it. Phew, over. Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. Safer in attic than rest of house. Key can be retrieved later, over. The, I think you were right. The way they smashed through the living room window in the fr front door, if I'd stayed in my room, I'd be a goner. Separated us with Vanguard. Destabilized power. Probe defenses. Finally threaded entry through multiple points of ingress. Basic siege tactics, over. Ah, oh, you were right. I'm impressed. I guess all those conspiracies you were always talking about turned out to be, uh, not fake, maybe? Too soon to tell for sure, but absolutely certain correct and always have been over. Anyway, thanks, so I'll just hole up here for now, I guess. Are you safe in the treehouse? Should you try calling your friends or something? Didn't want to risk their involvement. Always a gamble engaging soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location and ignore object under curtain. Over. I'm not going to ignore it. Joy, please, over. What? It's a big, mysterious thing under a beguilingly flutter, fluttery curtain. I have to at least peek at it. What is it anyway? Data insufficient to determine over. I'll let you know when I find out. Joey, don't tech to... It's... Pet... Ap... Over. There... Jo, uh, good... Ordle. It's... 
really bad idea. Over. Dude, can you repeat that? Lots of static. Joey, please. I get. You. Please don't. N near. The portal. Ver. Did you say portal? Handwriting is very legible, and there's no return address, leaving you with more, no more information than you had before you looked at it. This isn't that kind of mystery, the boring kind where you have to frequently refer to your rigorously maintained collection of shipping invoices to make progress. First best shotgun. There's no chance you're going to pick up this gun. Overzealous crowbarring, no doubt. He just pries and jumps. A monkey's paw. You left them hanging long enough. In fact, as you stare at the gross desiccated hand in the jar, you begin to suspect that the time has come for you to break open the jar and slap an anonymous dead hand with your own alive hand that has tragically passed. If only Cla Captain Planet were here, then the monsters would could eat him and you could escape while they were distracted. True. Well, time to go near that portal. Bunch of fucking masks. Taxidermied bear rug. And there's the hand again. Very old pigeon cages. An electrical cord. Maybe I could tie that around myself so I don't get, uh, fucked up. Disguising your identity wouldn't really help much. Okay. Well. Time to remove it. Oh, yeah. You have no idea what this is. You don't know where it came from or how long it's been here. Did Jude know about this? Is that why he really sent you to the attic? No, that that doesn't make any sense. He did your paw now? It looks kind of different from the stuff he usually dumps off here. It feels different, in your mind at least. Wait, what? You, you're you having trouble thinking clearly. Trouble keeping your train of thought. How, how long have you been standing here? Why does he love Globe so much? Whenever you look at Globes in school or whatever, they just remind you of him. Well, you don't know how to operate this thing except, of course, put a key in it and turn it. That seems like the obvious thing, doesn't it? Like the most obvious and necessary thing you've ever known and we're always going to do and have always known. And do it, do it, do it now, 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 the key. Do it, do it, open the door. No. Hmm, that's not good. I'm gonna go get eaten by monsters instead. Cause, uh, that's not a good, that's not good, you know? Sorry, this is less creepy than the hyper-muscled hyper horseman fountain in the yard, but that isn't really saying much. Fair enough. Well, Byers, you go. He holds Byers in front of the impressive piece of machinery. He is plainly mystified. Kai and Pepper, go. It looks pretty clanky and rusty. Dumping a bunch of gritty spice on it probably won't help it do what it's intended to do, which is, uh, batteries. It doesn't look like it needs batteries. More like it's waiting for something else. Hold on, waiting? A wooden machine sitting in your attic can't wait, right? Right? Pogs! You know. This is important. Keep that garbage away from the, the thing. Ugh, you keep having weird thoughts about this machine, and you're not sure why, but you're sure you don't like it. Except the pods are, pogs are garbage stuff. That was all you. Those things on the sides don't... They don't, don't look like pets. Well, not good ones, anyways. They do look like they might be hungry. The machine remains unmoved. Tap dancing was not the answer. This time. Weird. Why do you feel like you already know this thing will make music? Maybe it's like a really complicated organ and maybe you saw it in a book somewhere? None of that seems right. What the heck is it? If you run on the battery, no, I want to hit it. Fine. Here we go. It's time. Uh oh. Slurp. <laughs> Tasty.
There's the portal. Oh. We got portal. Yeah, there's the swapping of the hives that we've been talking about. Yeah. Okay, cool. This guy was also running from some horrible monsters. Probably. Some kind of weird electronic electric bug? Seems to be trying to communicate. You should pick it up for closer inspection. Words blank on the screen in an unfamiliar alphabet. For some reason, you can understand it anyway. Hello, someone there? Is this a chat room? If a moderator is present, I require some assistance, please. Tetrarch! There's a huge explosion. Were you harmed? Thanks for asking, although I didn't see an explosion. Well, maybe I did, sorta. Roof of your hive is totally jacked. If you stay so, wait, you can see my roof? Who are you? What do you mean my hive? Oh, oh no. I'm so sorry, I forgot the code again. I was, I'm really trying, I swear. It's just because I was so worried about you, I wasn't thinking, and I don't know, it'll never happen again, I promise. I, what's going on? Nothing, all that matters is that you're okay. You are okay, right? Yeah? Huh? Nah? Sorry. I'm, um, why are you apologizing? It never hurts to be sorry. Who are you? I'm Zephros. Oh no, that was a test, wasn't it? Okay, no, no exceptions to the code. I'm absolutely not Zephros. Right, where am I? Okay, yeah, I know for this one for sure. You're in a basement, right? I mean, you're not there. You're somewhere else. I, um, oops, did I say the wrong thing? Where do you want me to tell you you are? So I'm Zephros, I'm getting that I'm in a basement somewhere, but you think we shouldn't say that. Yeah, that's exactly right. I got it right, uh, didn't I? If you say so. I know you don't, I know you know, I don't suppose you know what the deal is with this huge machine with the snakes on it. Sort of like the one in my attic. Except the one in my attic wasn't so space age and didn't have a weird bubble force, f force field bubble. Attic? You know, down the hall, up the stairs, the ice room in the house. Oh, duh, more code. Sorry. Yeah, the secret weapon. I'm sorry, that, I'm sorry about that Tetrarch Damek. Secret weapon? Tetrarch Damek. Sorry, I know I keep messing up. I'm doing my best. What is Tetrarch Damic? Um, your name? I mean, not your name. My name isn't Tetrarch Damic. Of course not. Never know who might be reading. Oh, geez, what was your code name again? My name is Joey. Right, I knew that. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. I had no idea things could go so wrong. I was going to ask you first, but then I thought maybe it was a quiz, and that I, I, if I had to stop to ask you, I would fail, so I just put in the battery in the weapon like you said. What? What are you talking about? I thought you left that weird paper on the, out on the crate as instructions. Weird paper? Not weird. Great. The plan is great, Joey. The heirs will never expect it. Oh, okay. So these are just like terror, like revolutionary terrorists. They're just trying to blow up the heiress. Okay. Hey, let me get back to you. Futuristic forklift. Probably move that giant crate here. You don't know how to drive this thing. It doesn't need to be on anyways. You don't have to do something with the tablet in this control panel, but maybe... But you don't know what to do. Maybe talk to that guy again? Nah. Hmm. Goo. You aren't even going to try and open that. Busted up robot? Seems like something pretty intense happened before you went down here. You have no idea how to open this thing. If you had to guess, it looks like it's automatic, but the power seems to be off in here. You think? It's kind of hard to tell. Hmm. Maybe. And it didn't exactly hurt, but it was kind of tingly. You don't think you'll be able to reach the portal while that force field is on. Hmm. Oh, uh, paper, right? Yep, I can't combine the paper. Can I feed the pa paper? This diagram does not seem to incorporate pigeons, neither as a visual component nor as a recurring visual motif. Damn. Hey, I found the paper you're talking about, so what do I do with it? Uh, well, okay, uh, give me a moment, I know this. I'm really sorry. I don't think you'd be quizzing me right after what happened. I swear I'll prepare better next time. It's okay. Wow, really? <gasps> yes, really. It's not a quiz. I have no idea what any of this means. Oh, geez, is it a test? No, I seriously have no idea what's going on here. I've never seen this thing before. What is it telling me? I'm doing my best, but I don't know what you want me to do. Please tell me what you want me to say. Um, so, like, this paper seems like some kind of schematic for the portal I just came through. 
It's it looks kind of familiar, not just the portal, but the paper itself. I don't know how that would be possible though. Anyways, is that right? Is this this is a diagram for the snake machine? Well, if I remember right, that thing is a guide to the weapon. This weapon? You mean this snake portal? Oops, the code. Okay, yes, the portal. Can I unlock the snake machine with this? Is that what I should do? Unlock the snake machine? Oh, the serpent security program for your hive's power hexagrid. Yes, if that's what you want, Tetrarch. You can always do whatever you want. Um, wow. Will uh, that thing you said, will that help me get out of here? Exactly. Just put all of your X fing all ten fingers on the back of your tablet until the control panel uplink executes. X, ten? Oh no. I'm in trouble. I did exactly what I'm not supposed to. There's a test and I blew it. It's so hard to keep up with these espionage rules sometimes. Okay, um, I'll just go check that out. I'm so sorry, Tetrarch. I'm gonna leave you to whatever it is that you do. Place all ten of your fingers on the back tab of the. Some kind of password entry program appears on the screen. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Snake. It's Lucis Snake. That's a horse. I never learned alternating it. Sorry. Man, did, did I do the password? Yay! Nope, and now the forklift's on. No, oh, it blew up. Oh, a beast thing. Hello, beast thing. Are you a nice beast thing? Are we gonna leave anyways? Yeah, we're gonna run away anyways. Okay, okay, that's fair. Fair enough. Hey, hey, Xerox, are you Xerox? <laughs> it's pretty close to Zephros, don't you think? I mean, I imagine I called you damn it. Not that I would ever do that. Sorry. Okay, I don't really know what to say to any of that. It's fine, stop apologizing. It's actually really annoying when you do that all the time, FYI. Oh, sorry. Forget about it. I wanted to ask you about that security console. I played the game on it, but all that happened was a forklift drove straight into the force field and exploded. Well, your forklift exploded? Yeah, it's not mine, though. Is it yours? S I'm sorry I wrecked it. Oh, no, of course not. Or, I mean, do you want me to take it? Because it's broken? I mean, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Up to you. All right. And then a weird monster menaced me into this other room, and there's only one door? This is kind of a bad situation. Weird monster? Yeah, that, uh, dear cat thing. Dear cat thing, are you having a fight with your Lucis? Not that it's any of my business. Lucis? It's that what you call that thing? I barely got away with my life. Wait a minute. Are you actually not Tetrarch Damic? No, I'm Joey, Joey Claire. I don't know what's going on, but there's a bunch of big computers and boxes, and I don't know where I am or who you are, but you keep acting like you knew what was going on. Well, what are you doing with Tetrarch's tablet? You mean this Trapper Keeper laptop? I found it on the floor. Oh no. Is Tetrarch Damic there? Maybe I can talk to him instead? Please? Please give the tablet to Tetrarch Damic, please. I don't know who Tetrarch Damic is. I don't know who you are. Could you look for him, please? Okay, yeah, I'll root around this room that's filled with guns! Okay, thanks. Wow, it sure is filled with guns. Now that you think about it, they maybe do look kind of familiar, but you're not sure where you would have seen them before. You don't know what this is, or uh, you don't really know what this is all about. You wouldn't, you would kind of like to not find out, please. Yeah, this is like where to shoot a big thing to, uh, oh, you pop off its head. And then there's like goo inside and wires and stuff. Not your first box stack radio rodeo. Well, how about that? Yeah, hmm. You really thought that would work, although maybe it's better that this stuff didn't that it didn't, considering these are probably full of bullets and stuff. Oh, right, we can talk. Did you find him? No! Oh no. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Oh my god, why on earth are you asking me? What's earth? What? Oh my god. Jude, is that you? This is another one of these stupid practical jokes. This isn't funny. No, I'm a Zephros. Okay, Zephros, tell me what is going on. I am, I don't really know. Actually, I'm kind of upset because you're yelling. That makes me harder to think. I know I'm not very smart or good at anything, but I really am trying my best. I'm sorry. I can't believe this. I'm the one who just got shot through space into an alien nightmare horror house, and you expect me to make you feel better? 
Look, we all have self-esteem issues, but there's a time and a place for pathetic groveling, and it is not what I'm trying to be devoured by alien monsters. Wait, you're an alien? I'm two seconds away from throwing this disgusting joke machine into one, any one of the several pyres of armed and dangerous garbage around me. Wait, no, don't! This is so exciting, I've never met an alien before. I'm, like, seriously losing it. Most trolls never meet aliens until they go off planet to conquer them. What? Okay, okay, like, like, you could be messing with me. Are you messing with me? The tetrarch says I have to stop being so trusting. Oh, I know, say something only an alien would say. Um, I'm from a planet named Earth. I'm gonna tap dance your sad little nerd body into the ground. That's... Did you understand what I was asking? That's sort of a normal thing to say. No, it wasn't. That was not a nice thing to say at all. Ugh, sorry. This is all a little nuts in the deer cat movie got me a little rattled. So you're not an alien. No, I am. I mean, if this seriously isn't Earth, which between the snake machines and the deer cat and the sci-fi technology, I'm willing to believe. Plus, there were some mon other monsters earlier, so I'm having that kind of day. Monsters? Yeah, I managed to get past them barely. Whoa, you're so cool. You're like a on a real adventure. Wait, what color is your blood? Uh, what kind of question is that? I'm so sorry to mean to dis be disrespectful. I just wanted to be sure before I made a mess of things. Um, okay, it's red? <laughs> really? Me too! Awesome, we can even be friends! This is so cool! Hey, maybe I can even help you! Now! The Tetrarch Lucis knows me. Hell co he'll come down if I can get over there. By Lucis, you mean the deer cat monster? Um, yes. That's wonderful, thank you! Yeah! Except, um, I don't know, I'm still worried this might all be a big test. A test? I don't follow, sorry. Boy, it is getting kind of frustrating to have to say that over and over. The Tetrarch is always testing me. If this is the final exam of the secrecy stuff and I blow it, he's going to be really disappointed. Oh, I know. If you can prove you're an alien, I'll come over and help you out. You want me to say more alien things? No, I mean, I have no way to verify if those are true or not. Um, oh, send me a picture of you. I don't have any photos with me. And anyways, how could I get it to you? I'm trapped in here by that monster. Uh, aren't you using the Tetrarch's tablet? Take the pics with that and exmit it over. Egg exmit? Is X also transmit? Pics? Xmit? Pictures. Transmit. I'm okay, that's kind of a weird acid rocks, but I'll give it a shot. Here it goes. Eh, eh. Yeah, look at this little nerd body. Your name is Zephros Trito. You're having a difficult evening because of one in many of a predictable life because you are rust blood trash. You have just witnessed beams of red and green energy erupt from the hive of your best friend, Tetrarch Damic, right before a squadron of Imperial drones snapped off half your neighbors, so it's not great to say your revolutionary efforts are, go are not going great. It's safe to say it's not going great. Yeah, okay. Oh, it seems you've also received a package. Is it a copy of Escrub? I hope it's not a copy of Escrub. Oh, it's a FLARP manual. Oh! This edition of FLARP is focused on spy games, intrigue, and rebellion. Tetrarch Damic modeled a lot of his underground resistance ideas after this system. That's okay. G Great work, buddy. Uh, swipe. Weekly wobble the box later. Okay, so this is just wobbling. White gloves, shoe polish, training silverware, everything in an involuntarily inspiring butler. <laughs> involuntarily aspiring butler got me. I forgot about how bad the cast system is. You play Pusher, of course. Burgundies are ideally suited to this position because of their telekinetic powers and their ability to commune with dead players. Also, Pusher's most dangerous position, and no one really cares if Rust Blood gets killed. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. It's your tablet. You use it for pretty much everything. Your auto tune mic is plugged into it. The grubbles, the grubbles, if you buck, we won't trouble to resist throwing fists while you sift through the rubble. It's sort of hard to spit your quasi-revolutionary rhymes while, with any real fire while dressed in your butler uniforms, though. Damn. Damn says you're subversely transforming the rags of your oppression into the fatigues of the revolutionary through your jams, but you're kind of worried your performance will be drowned out by sarcastic orders to polish the silver. Oof. It's your tablet. Use it for pretty much everything except all, uh, pretty much all computing needs. Except you spend most of your time at home, so it usually just stays right here in your room. Unfortunately, Kid on the Go is probably exactly what you are right now. You should grab it. Your mic is plugged into it, and you're not sure you should be leaving that behind. You gather both tablet and mic with one practice motion. They're attached, so the motion probably didn't require as much practice as you think. You then proceed to have this conversation again from the other side. It's all news to Zephyros, but it'd be a little dull to read the whole thing over again. Just pick up the phone. Oh yeah, you're definitely an alien. 
or you have some strange collection of grotesque physical and mental diseases. Uh, either way, you need my help. Okay, that much is definitely true. I'm pretty sure I had the monster scratching at the door. He's probably hungry. Anyway, man, if you're an alien, we gotta get you out of here. The heiress hates aliens. Ah, the what? The heiress. Oh, uh, well, she's awful and controls everything, basically. I mean, I doubt she's ever met one, but to hear her talk, she hates aliens as much as she hates low bloods, which I guess you all are also. You're practically a member of the Resistance already. Uh, I'm not sure whether to be really confused or really concerned about you. Do you need help? One time when things got really bad with my brother, my babysitter took him to the doctor and it seemed to help. Oof. What's a doctor? Wow, when I thought my whole life was in the Okay, I'm definitely concerned. Being concerned is what friends do for each other. I've never had anyone but Tetrarch Damic to be concerned about me before. Oh, jeez. I bet it, the other Tetrarchs will be extremely excited to hear there's an alien helping us now. Uh, sure. But I'm sort of pretty focused on not being killed by the monster in the other room at the moment. That's kind of my main deal right now. I don't have really have a lot of time for anything else. Right, yeah, of course. I'll help you. Uh, and the shark character too, because, well, I think... Okay, I hope this is also helping him somehow. Which reminds me, we really should be talking like this. Like what? Tetrarch Damic says we also have to assume our communications are being monitored. And this is exactly the kind of conversation I shouldn't be having. Oh man, I'd better hurry up and get over there. On my way now. Please don't message me anymore. It's dangerous. Beer be in person I mean. Smile. What a what a what a what a boy. What a what an absolute lad. Well, time to go. Ah, the cleaning things. Look at these mics, look at the baseball. Is this my, is this, is this his Lucis? Is the big sloth, the giant sloth? Yeah! Uh, Jumping through rings fire. Yeah. Yeah! We're rhyming and we're uh, subliming. Your spear spinner's gotten a lot of use lately. Why, just look at the glisten of the mucus on the floor. Beautiful, you could almost take pride in it. Whose door is this? Your rumpus room. Yo! This is sick! You can't remember the sports fault with your hands. Try thinking before you act. He's the only place in the hive you can store food for your loot. He's so strong you can easily break in any other hiding place. He has a special telekinesis-based interface. It tends to wear you out a little. The combination is pretty hard to remember. Oh, yeah? Up. Ah, darn it. <sighs> Get fucked, idiot. Remember the path when you're already concentrating on your shaky telekinesis. If only you would have some kind of guide on hand. You've got just a thing, but you don't think it's in this room. Okay. Well, time to go find that guide, I guess. Because clearly I'll need to have something to um, get the Lucis. Butler training materials. Well, probably somewhere else then. Clean. I refuse. I should promise something to defend myself with. Do I get a bat? Do I have a bat? Study butler materials. Bend spoons. I got a bent spoon. Just in, just in case you run into any bent soup along the way. Hmm. Hmm. Equip with bat. Pry it loose. Pry it loose. Yes, the Q bat. Paused at the height of exciting sport. Now 
Now that I have a fucking bat, I can go kick ass. Ah, there's everybody. All right, there's the heiress. There's the weather. Uh, don't look at the sun. Uh, there's the heiress. As a rust blood, you're not permitted to have a luxurious circular disc. It's only the standard hexagons. Damn. Life do be rough. I like that the eye logo is yellow. That, that's good. Your Imperial Edict mandated portrait of, portrait of the heiress. She rules your plan with a perfectly manicured golden fist. You know it's perfectly manicured because she recently issued an Imperial Memorandum about her new nail art. The drones outside are doing her dirty work. She'll have a shiny top coat of blood after tonight. All of it common hued, you're sure. Oh, there's the back button. I just couldn't find it. And playbook. Snacks, please. Grub juice hydration cylinders. If you need a quick restorative for your psychic stamina, you'll have that. You'll just have that instead of not having it like some kind of chump. Lyle's law doesn't really keep well. Damn. Well, I'm gonna have to go get some snacks for the Lucis. too dangerous to leave this way. They'll probably spot you. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's see if I can um, uh, solve this puzzle with that guidebook and the restorative juice. Sports? Yeah, you can get the sloth treats. What a trial that was. Luckily, he has a slow metabolism. Hell yeah. I should close the door, though. But he's gonna break in and get all the other sloth treats. Alright, sloth dad. Here's a box of treats for you. I'm not gonna name my loose as Zeus Mel. I'm gonna name him Sleepy. You think you thank Sleepy for moving out of the way. All you had to do was give him exactly what he wanted. Alright, time to get out the back door so I don't get caught by the Imperial drones. Oh, where? Teleported box? I love boxes that are teleported to me. Hmm? Oh! Scratch were received. All future messages to and from this device are protected from third-party surveillance. As a special one-time offer, all past messages are protected as well. Do you agree that you are already subject to the terms of service? I am vaguely unsettled by all this. Eh! Hey, yo! Hey, yo! <gasps> Cube! Yes! Hello? Hey, Joey, it's Joey, right? Yeah, that's right, and you're Xerox. Actually, no, I'm Zephyros. Oh, oops. Are you okay? What's going on? I thought we weren't supposed to talk. Yeah, something weird happened, though. I think it's safe now. What do you mean? Real quick. Do you have a green and white symbol on your chat window now? Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, that wasn't there before. Okay, I think we're safe then. To chat, anyway. Okay, good. I still don't get, quite get what the danger is, but I guess I'm going to need to trust you if I have any hope of getting out of here. Well, um, some bad news on that front. A missile hit my hive and I'm buried under the debris in my lawn ring. A missile? There, I heard a big th heavy thump a minute ago. Is that related? 
Oh yeah, that was probably the missile that nearly killed me. You need help way more than I do right now. I don't want to be a bother, but I was about to say something to those effects. Or I mean, I was gonna say I'm sorry, I can't help you anymore. We're both stuck waiting to find out if the flames or the drones will reach us first. Nuts to that. <gasps> I'm gonna save you. Aren't you stuck? I was, but that next one knocks some boxes over. I don't think I could have moved on my own, so in a weird way, it kind of helped. Boxes? Yeah, they're blocking a vent shaft. I'm gonna climb up there and see where it leads. Wow, you're kind of like a real-life action hero. Wow. Oh, shucks, I want to help you the way you were gonna help me. And you were putting yourself at a lot more risk than I realized. I repeat. <gasps> I've been even asked, what the heck does that mean? Oh, you can use letters and numbers to make a little face. Uh, Tetrarch Damic likes it when I smile. Uh, we have those where I'm from, but I don't know what the X means. Oh, those are my horns. Your horns? Yeah. Like the guy on the screensaver? I think so. And that's probably not me, though. But those are real? Um, do you not have horns? I thought they were out of frame. No, we don't have horns. Jeez. What a question. That's so weird and cool. You really are an alien. I never thought I'd meet one. Well, today's your lucky day. Or, I mean, it really seems to not be that, but you understand what I'm going for here. I think so, yeah. I'll be there as quick as I can, so apply pressure to wounds and try not to move too much. It's okay. The weight of the rubble crushing my body is pressing down on my wounds and preventing me from moving at all. <sighs> Man, Xerox. Buddy. We gotta really work on your constant blitz, okay. Alrighty, here we go. I have a... I have a... Oh, vent chap, right. Yeah, fuck the heiress. Yeah, get her. She, she subjugates people. All right, there's the loses, there's the portal, and there's the escape, and this is how to get out. Okay. Crawl. Hup, 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 And crawl, and crawl, and crawl, and crawl, and crawl, and missiles, crawl, and crawl, and crawl, and don't, don't, uh, be afraid by the fact that missiles are hurting or shooting at your base. Yo, she vented? That's like Among Us! Hey, made it to the event shaft. Wow, that's pretty exceptional. Wow, oh, gosh, thank you. It was a little creepy and in retrospect, fairly dangerous. Or shall I say more dangerous than I expected? Well, um, I would rather you didn't, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, but typing quirks are sort of... I don't know if... I noticed you don't really have one, but, um, they're kind of a thing that's exclusive to you, you know? Or, I mean, it's okay if they're used occasionally by someone you're close to. No offense, but I don't know you that well yet. I see. Well, I'm sorry. I will know better from now on. No, I'm probably being weird about it. I'm sorry. You had no way of knowing. Zephyrus, it's okay to tell people when they do something that bothers you. Better to express how you feel and sit on it forever while the other person has no idea. What kind of foundation for a friendship would that be? Oh. Yeah, you're right. By the way, how much rubble are you covered in exactly? I'm not really sure how I'm going to get you out of there. Oh, that won't be too hard if you can find my hover pad. It's around there somewhere. I use, I use it to move my loosers around, but Tetrak Damic borrowed it. To move some guns, I think. Or maybe his drums. Huh, bad timing. Haha. <laughs> I mean, that was a couple sweeps ago. So it's pretty much his now. You don't know what they say. Your hive is my hive. Heh <laughs> heh. Actually, that's what he, the Tetrarch says is, uh, he's taking my stuff. Okay, that's nice. But where is this hover pad exactly? Oh, right. Sorry. It's fine. I just don't want you to bleed to death or whatever while typing. I think it's probably still in Tetrarch's love above, locked above his respite block. You know where you are now? Not really, but there's a ton of guns in here. I don't, remember, I don't want to make you anxious, but that describes um, every block in the Tetrarch's hive. Great. I'm going to message you when I've made some progress, I suppose. Okay, yeah. I think I'm about to pass out from blood loss, so I'm going to chill out for a little while. Hang in there. I'll find that hover pad soon. Big weird book. Pick up the, let's see, the big book of beasts. You look through glimpsing tons of monsters various levels of weird, cute, scary, and spectacular. He needs us to learn more about the weird alien life on this weird alien planet. Neat. It's also heavy. Oh, it's like a... It, that's cool. It's like a lamp of a guy getting abducted by an alien. Medium book of beasts, small book of beasts, and several beasts collected in random order. A sack of goo is some sort of alien bathtub that someone forgot to drain. Worst case scenario is an extremely poisonous toilet. I see. This desk is in pretty lousy shape, uh, kind of the guns piled on it. Yep. Alright. You probably shouldn't try to climb a pile of guns. That's true. Is kind of safe, you guess? Hard to be sure, given your current surroundings, but it seems to fit the usual profile. It wouldn't be safe to do so. What if I put the book in here? Access. Is that a power, maybe? Hmm. He's 
movies look kind of like not your thing, really. Not no judgment. You just don't want these posters at all. Damn. Hey, you can see the portal from here, right through this giant hole you made when you inadvertently laser beamed yourself into Damek's home. You hope you're not responsible for any of this damage. Well, you know. down this thing. I was gonna put the book in here. But nah. Can I put the cube in the safe? that it's open through this thing. Not powered, and I don't see a way to power it. If I tap dance at this thing. Tap dance at the uh, thing, the slime. Slime. Bird and slime. Buyer splashes around in the sack of goo and becomes even more gross than he frankly was. Damn. Can I put the batteries in the hand panel thing? <laughs> the technology is unfortunately not compatible. where the power goes because usually these sorts of things like will tell you Unavailable. Hmm. I'm trying to find the hoverboard. I'm trying to find the hover pad. Probably in the safe, I'm gonna guess. Hmm. 
Well, time to do that thing that you do in mystery games or adventure games. You just scroll up and down until you see something new. What if I dance near the desk? Meh. The hole. Can I tap dance the hole? I cannot tap dance the hole. I cannot uh, do anything with the hole. Can I throw a battery down the hole? No, I can't really interact with the hole in any real way. Posters that I can't interact with, the slime thing that I can't interact with. I mean, I could put the cube in the slime. Box in the slime? Indeed. Uh, I put fires in the slime. Battery in the slime? Hogs in the slime? You dip a couple in there. It's gross. Why did you do this? It's gross. <sighs> the control panel is not pigeon powered. <sighs> There's a slot for- I thought I tried that. Oh well. <laughs> well. Hey. Hi Joey, how's it going? Not great, I accidentally put everything in lockdown. Or maybe it was in lockdown before and I somehow got past one door. That's probably it. Detector Arch has extremely high security. What's the deal? Is he really paranoid? Is your planet really dangerous? It must be if everyone's house is full of guns. Actually, my hive is pretty different. It's a lot cleaner for one thing, and it has a tree growing in it for my Lucis. And there's no guns. That sounds really nice. What does he even ha need so many guns for anyway? Well, I guess it's okay to tell you since you're another rust blood. But don't tell anyone else, it's a major secret. I don't know a single other person on your entire planet. Oh, right. But, okay, but, um, yeah. So, we're rebelling. It's okay, you can take a minute. I know it's a lot to process. Rebelling against what? The... Uh, Hey! Hey! Hey, Joey! What the fuck? No, the heiress is a girl. Oh, I'm right. You're an alien. Okay. Uh, some context. The heiress is a murdering tyrant who holds our, planet, entire, our whole planet in her wicked finny fist. Finny? Uh, yeah, she's a sea dweller. Enough future blood. One of only two. The other one... Well, she's away for all the... She's really far away all the time, leading the conquest of the galaxy or whatever. The Condes. But he's lucky for us because he's incredibly powerful. Not so lucky for the people in the other galaxies, though. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's true. But anyway, the heiress is enough to deal with. The other high blows follow her, and of course she has her drone army. Oh, of course, ain't that always just the way? Yeah. I was kidding, I don't know what high blows or drone armies or anything are. Yeah, I hate to be all high and new here on your planet. Can you gradually bring me up to speed on literally everything? Watch in amazement as I stun you with my penetrating clumsy cluelessness. Feast on my feast your eyes on my badly executed jokes. <laughs> You're pretty upbeat about all this. I think if I was suddenly shot across the galaxy or whatever, I'd be flipping out. Aren't you currently bleeding out under a ton of rocks? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, it's kind of annoying to have no idea what's going on. Okay, well, the drones are the things flying around outside. They take us in custody if they see us, assuming they don't kill us all right by Philip. Firing missiles into our bodies until we're dead. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, a lot of us can wait until we can get you to safety. I'm gonna go find your hover pad now. Talk to you soon. Oh, gross. Someone left food out and a big bug got in Or maybe he eats the bugs? Or possibly that's all anyone here eats? You really, really wish you'd eaten something before you got here. Clean up. Nope, 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 nope. Not your bug, not your bowl, not your problem. A computer! You wonder if Damic ever makes his own video games as a means of hashtagging. Hashing out his problem like Clarissa does. Clarissa is so cool. This is remote. Stuck in the couch cushions. This event. Stuck in the couch cushions. This is the hole you, uh... When you get when you build an elevator in your house while at the same time not caring people fall down in holes. The platform is down in the basement. You can still hear the sound of that wild animal below. This is getting ridiculous. Who locks the door to get their kitchen? So we got bugs. We got a uh, fucking rebel banner. We got uh, putting yourself over a movie poster. Cool. Big screen TV. Some kind of millionaire money bags. No VCR though, weird. And he's got circular discs? Man, what a rebel. 
Is there really just nothing else to, uh... Hmm, alright. Yep. I guess we're going back here. Into this hallway. It looks slightly different from how it did, uh, from how you remember. The left one seems to be an error message. Is that Zephyrus in the bottom one? And his big parent monster thing? That's, um, we were supremely creeped out. Oh, that's his bedroom. Hmm. Okay, so he slapped the door closed. Okay, okay, okay. So this room looks different than I remember it now. Bleh. Cringe. Really doesn't like this fish lady, huh? Yeah. Let's see. The hole is not a pet, it is simply a round absence of floor. Fires, go down there. No? Okay. The gro uh, Grubbles. The Grubbles seem to be the current favorite, though. At least he crosses it out and writes the other one beneath it. Hmm. This seems like it'd be a good place to have something else, though. in the hole. Batteries in the hole. Spice in the hole. Batteries in the computer. Seems to be running on AC power. No surge protector. Damn. There's no pog port. Touch out of time. Get them out of my head when you're not around. Maybe I'm not good at adventure games. <laughs> the tablet's doing the thing again. Okay. Snake 2. Whoops, I fucked up. Hey, Xerox, you there? Can't really go anywhere with this debris slowly crushing my body. Right, sorry, it's okay. I'll be there soon. Try to hang in there. Okay, I'll try. I'm gonna pass out a little now. Wait, real quick. The security puzzle. You mean that serpent ROM that Tetrarch Dammit rigged, rigged up to power's hex grid? I don't... I wouldn't have used those words, but if you think about it, that's probably what I'm talking about it. There's another one? A different one? I think so. The star screen is different anyways. The power's still on, so I don't know what it would be connected to. It's hive security, probably. He's always tinkering with it to make it more complex. Yeah, for the one on the basement, I only had to eat the letters. But now they're different? Yeah, they're different letters to eat, but I don't know what letters to eat, if that makes sense. Oh, it's probably X, 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 X. Oh, really? No, wait, I'm sorry. I mean, X, 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 Yeah, I got it. No, that's not it. What? I keep typing it in, but it gets changed to a bunch of X's. Maybe it's that new security software I installed? It must stop me from posting my password to the chat. Really? Let me try. Hmm, this is Taylor Thomas, maybe. Can you see that? 
Ms. Taylor Thomas 80? OMG, what's that? No, it would, you told me it would turn into X symbols. Well, you're using the Tetrarch's tablet. It wouldn't know your password. I can't believe I did that. Sorry, I'm going home. I can never show my face on this planet again. Hmm? Mr. Ta Mrs. Taylor no Thomas 80 seems like a nice password. I'd never guess that. You must be really smart, Joey. No, I'm, apparently I'm super stupid. What's so embarrassing about it? Everybody makes mistakes. It's just, what's the name of the boy of a boy I like? Oh, get fucked. Really? <laughs> I don't tell anyone, but that's what my password is too. Do you have a girl you like? No, and it's a boy. Oh, for some reason I thought you were a boy this whole... I am. Oh, huh. I guess it do be the 90s. I'm still dying in rocks about the security console. Yeah, about that. Can you, like, give me a hint? It's the name of our band, but there's a couple different ways to spell it. That's pretty weird. Yeah, we keep going back between the Groobles and the Grubbles. I actually don't know which one it is right now. Okay. Well, I fucked up. All right, let's see how it's actually written. On the stupid note thing. Okay, the group bolts. Okay. Nah, nah, meh, meh, six, six, thing, thing, H. Oh boy, that's gonna be tough. Adventure games. <laughs> ah, adventure games, how dare you? <sighs> it is tough enough playing Snake for real. And now I have to also play Snake while reading an alien language that I never bothered to learn how to read when I was 12. It's this one, right? Yeah, okay. And then 6-6. Six, six. supposed to be hook. Okay. Alright, okay. Alright, here we go. This time for sure. Alright, uh, seven... Okay, finally, jeez louise. Alright, cool. Ah, hello. Well, this seems smart. Hey, please don't eat me. Dancing away! Well, I figured out the game, but the monster chased me into, uh, I'm fairly confident this is a kitchen. It's really gross, but anyway, keeping you informed. Monster? Wait, sorry, I'm a little woozy. The deer cat. Oh, yeah, now I remember. The Tetrarch's Lucis. Okay, sure. Hey, maybe, while we have a second, maybe you can fill me in on what that means. 
What what means? What's a lucis? Wow. What? That's that's just about the saddest thing I ever heard got said. Yeah, yeah, cultural differences, etc., etc. Can you bring me up to speed on what this wild beast stalking me? Why does Demic even have a crazy cat monster in his house? Well, it's not usually crazy. Your lucis takes care of you. Protects you from wild monsters and also dying from, like, whatever, you know? I guess mine's not too good at that since it's still being uh, crushed by heavy debris. I, not really. Are they all, um, beasts? Well, yeah, what else would they be? And they're always this rambunctious? I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty crazy if everyone in your family had their own rip-snorting monster. What's a family? It's some adults and their kids, or one adult and some kids, or some kids and their babysitter in the conspicuous absence of a father who isn't garbage! Adults? Yeah, why? Adults live on your planet? Yeah, of course. Is that not where they live for you, for your adults? Sorry, this is somehow the weirdest thing you've said yet. Once you come of age, you get sent off planet for your ordeals. And that's it? Nobody comes back ever? No exceptions. There are no adults on Alternia. I think that might be another, wow, I mean, alien conversation better safe when you're not pinned under a bunch of rocks. I'm gonna have to rest for a sec. Okay, well, I'm gonna focus on finding the cover band. I'll let you know when I do. Thanks, Joey. I'm gonna focus on maintaining consciousness, I think. Good plan. Stay, uh, stay alive. Um, kid power. Oh, jeez, that was awful. Sorry, bye. Anything in the fridge? Hmm, pizza? This pizza must commit all sorts of pizza sins, seeing as all the taste and sensibilities of the human race were not considered during its creation. Perhaps completely unworthy of the name pizza. The Crux. That's a really stupid name for a canned beverage. Get milk? You'll take the loosest milk. That's not for the loosest, that's from the loosest. Grub sauce, huh? Could be anything in there. You care you're not about to open Pandora's doggy bag to find out. Microwave? It's really gross, maybe you should clean it. You definitely travel to a strange alien more deeply than the guy's this guy's kitchen. Maybe that's how you live your life for sure. Cabinet is empty, kind of a running, running theme today. Wait. There's a bowl in the back. A clean bowl. Maybe Damic missed that missed it too. That would explain why it's actually clean. Yeah, a bowl of warm loose's milk. Zephyr says this is his, but it looks like Damic uh, has other ideas. Oh well, Damic isn't here, so now you can help Zephyros with it and help Zephyros by returning it. Found lever pad, hover sled, whatever it's called, I can I got it, I can come save you. Excellent! Although I think I'm a little boxed in. Between this the deer cat and this pile of guns and drums, I don't really have a clear path. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Well the Tetrarch made some pretty excessive modifications to my hover pad. Might be able to help? Yeah, um this guy doesn't sound like he has a good sense of respect for boundaries or personal property. Oh, he hates it. Tetrarch Damics says the concept of private property is a vehicle for exploitation and a tool by which the high blood subjugate the low blood underclass. Uh, well, I'm new here. I can't really comment, I guess. Anyway, it'll be back in your hands now, so problem solved. Yay! Okay, I'll give it a shot. Talk to you soon. Big messy pile of weapons and percussion instruments. Can I tap dance the instruments away? No. Can I hover sled the instruments away? No. Oh, cool. Allows me to yeet things. Okay, it is firing the guns. Well, nothing to be said. If the Tetrarch is loses is upset, it might have got got ten hurt. Got ten. Oh, got ten. That's cute. Anyway, I did see a whole lot of blood smeared up to a huge hole in the floor. Oh no. Well, it was brown, so it's pretty old. I'm not sure what you mean. The Tetrarch is a bronze, bronze blood. So that's either Damic or his Lucis, and it's recent. Wait, okay, so you've been saying things about blood color, and a lot, and I've been assuming it was metaphorical. Are you saying members of your species literally have different colors of blood? Yeah, I'm a rust blood. Bronze rust, so it's a metals thing? No, it's by color. I'm actually a burgundy blood, but... But maybe this isn't the best time to talk about all this. Yeah, I'll be glad to tell you all about the blood on our planet when I'm not so leaking so much of it on the ground. Smile. Wow, I really thought I'd be dead by now. Don't worry, I'm coming as soon as I can figure a way past this wild beast. Maybe I can give him a treat. I do have some pet treats. What's a pet? Uh, I think it would be a little weird if I described it to you, given the fact that it sounds like you were raised by one. Hmm? Let's move on. Maybe I can sneak past him. Pretty unlikely. Wait, are you the kind of alien that that's invisible and silent? No. Nah, yeah, no chance. Maybe I can outrun him? I'm surprised he's been chasing you. That's really not like him. Well, now that you mentioned it, he didn't exactly chase me. I think this might all be mis a misunderstanding. He's probably upset with Damic missing and everything that happened before you got here. I mean, they can be kind of frustrating. Lucis is, I mean. Well, they mean well, and they try to take care of you, but they don't always know what they're doing. It's not e always easy to understand them, you know? Yeah, I have someone like that. 
No? Yeah, my babysitter. You'd love her. Her name has an X in it. Hey, <laughs> hey. Well, okay, if we have an upset beast on our hands, there's really only one thing to do. Yeah? Joey Claire, amateur veterinarian, is going pro. Here be. Uh, milk? A vet med kit. Ooh. Okay. Uh, give milk and then treat. It looks exactly the same as when I left it. Well, except for the, you know. Hello. find a way to distract it, which is probably going to be to... put down some milk, and then vet, vet it. Okay, I'm trying to. No, oh, that's still just the fridge. Okay. This is Kool-Aid? Oh, you get it. Hey, this place is kind of horrible. Can I microwave to lose this milk? Bowl of milk. It's already lukewarm. Okay, good. Okay, now to go the other way. Let's hurry up before it finishes its loosest milk. All right, time to veterinarian it. Cuspidated Grimal Grimalkin. Cuspidated Grimalkin is a chimerical union of predator and prey with the strengths of both long retractable claws and razor, razor sharp teeth alongside a defensive crown of stabbing horns. The speed for light and quick dashes and the endurance to run entire nights without tiring. Proud and resplendent, the cus Cuspidated Grimalkin prefers to bond with bronze blooded wrigglers in whom they sense a strong natural aptitude for leadership. Such aspirations and low bloods are grounds for culling, of course. And the primary cause of death for cuspic dated Grim Grimalkin is in the defense of their tre treasonous wards. Anecdotal accounts suggest that those crus cuspidated Grimalkin who manage to survive the death of their wards will typically seek out an, a similarly orphaned troll and attempt to bond with them. Though the selection pro process is naturally rather mysterious due to its staggering illegality. Several anatomical diagrams are included. From these, you think you'll be able to treat the deer cat, but you're going to continue calling it for now on. Cuspidated Grimalkin is a bit of a mouthful. That's true. Yink. Yay! We got a deer cat now. Hug. Lick. Oh wow, what a cutie. But what's his name? You could ask Zephros, you could guess, but you feel like there's something between the two of you now. Something that merits a new one. Cornibuster? No. Hmm. Beck Prime. Yeah, that'll do. Beck seems to be doing better. Beck Prime seems to be doing pet better. And so are you. You helped out an animal, an alien animal. Speaking of riding. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty nervous, suddenly pretty nervous about how I'm going to get over there. I keep seeing shadows of huge hulking things flying around. Yeah, the, uh, the crossing won't be easy. I'm sorry. Is it always this hard to get across the street? No. I mean, not usually. Things got pretty intense. How do you mean? 
Somebody we were supposed to be meeting up with didn't show. Or maybe they did and it went bad. I really don't know. Demick didn't tell me what was happening. And I screwed everything up. I know it. You should stay there. I don't want to risk... I don't want you to get risk getting hurt because of me. You were going to risk it for me. Yeah, that's true, I guess. No guessing necessary. I didn't realize how brave you were being. Thank you, it means. <laughs> it means a lot. But no buts, except yours, which I'm saving. Are you sure? Extremely. Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there in a flash. Excellent. Wait, we? Oh, oh, yeah. Flashlight on. Let's go, buddy. Get past all the murder drones. Oh, yeah. Chasing after the light. Hey, we're here. Oh, geez, is that you under the rubble? I mean, I, I assume it is. I hope so. Not that I want you to get, be getting crushed under rubble. I hope it didn't happen enough that I'd mistake you for someone else being crushed under rubble. No, it's me. I was lucky. And left for dead, covered up, but not hurt bad enough to actually die. The ones who got culled on sight, or snatched up to be culled later, probably in some sick high blood spectacle, they weren't as lucky as me. This is what you're rebelling against? These drone things? No. I mean, not really. The heiress is in charge and the drones obey her. It's her birthright. So why is she doing this? I have no idea. Low bloods get called for anything and everything for no reason at all. She doesn't have to have one. Or maybe our sub being on fire makes a really sick selfie background. Haha. <laughs> Very serious, she sounds terrible. Yeah, no kidding. It's like the Tetrarch says. Slow the softy and lucky the troublemakers. Anyone who doesn't jump when the air snaps her wee webby little fingers, they get rounded up and slaved or rounded up and slaved or slaughtered. Especially rust bloods. Like me. This is terrible. Your neighborhood is on fire. You're buried in rubble. Like you said, this like this is why we were rebelling. This is so awful. Why hasn't someone already put a stop to this? My subgrub is full of low, low bloods. We don't matter. Nope. So nobody who does matter cares. All this is taking up the garbage. It's why it's always been this way. Nobody does anything about it, especially not gutter bloods. Like me, we're mostly just good at lying down to die. But you're belling, right? So you are doing something. Oh, that's not me. That's Tetrarch. Tetrarch Damic is different. He's amazing. I wish you could meet him. He always does things. He's like like he's in a movie where he's the star, you know? Um, he's, he, he put the whole thing together. The Rebel Network, the plan, all of it. But without him, we don't have a chance. He was the one who talked to every, who everyone talked to, and now he's gone. He's gone, and I'm alone. And I'm slow and soft and stupid. I'm just a nothing little gutter blood nobody. No, no, no! What? That, this damn it guy? He sounds like he stinks. What? Okay, I'm sorry, but you talk about him constantly. Not a single word you've said make, doesn't make him sound like an awful bully. No, it's not like that at all. He's just looking out for me. Oh, open your eyes. Why do you think you're really saying these terrible things? It's not like I don't know where you're coming from. Sometimes my pa makes me feel just rotten. And I think, am I the reason he's never around? What, what's wrong with me that makes my own father not want to see me? But that's a load of garbage. The only person responsible for the terrible things he does is him. You don't understand. Him and the Tetrarch have been together since we were grubs. We were fated to be Moirails. He wouldn't get it because you're an alien. I need him. Oh, no, you don't. I may not know anything about the social customs of this crazy alien planet, but I know a real friend would never stand by and let you think and say those things about yourself. I don't think you're nothing. In fact, I know you're not nothing. You've got plenty of your own bravery. Just because fighting back was his idea doesn't mean it, doesn't mean it didn't take courage to see it through. And you were going to risk everything to save me, an alien you'd never even met. That's the bravest thing I ever heard get tried. Do you really think so? Yeah! I believe in you, Zephros. Wow, you remembered my name this time. Yes! That's because you made such a big impression on me and we're such good friends and I'd be really sad if you gave up and died here under these rocks. Oh man, that actually means a lot to me. I'd never even dreamed that something like this could happen for someone like me. Zephros, I'm going to do my absolute best to raise your standard of friendship to the point where you have where having your name remembered is not the nicest thing anyone has ever done for you. I'm not alone after all. I've got Joey Alien here to save me. And tell me what to do. Well, uh, <laughs> no, we're in this together. Oh, yeah, right. Thanks, Joey. Now let's get you out of there and then figure out what's next. Are you sure you don't know anyone who can help us? I kind of don't even know what kind of help we need, but it seems we do. Well, I do know someone, but they don't exactly live nearby. It'll be a journey. Are you sure they'll help us? Oh, yeah, she hates the heirs. And she's our biggest fan. It's good enough for me. Now hold still. I'm going to get you out of there. Um, hoverboard. Right. Psychic beam. Oh. <laughs> my bones, my blood. Hey, guy. Check it. I'm riding on a cat thing. Nah. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, we're doing it. We're riding away. We're not getting cold. This is so great and cool. Uh-oh. Mothership. Grub ship. Sorry about your sub grub. Ah, there she is. <sighs> it was because their sub grub on fire makes for a good selfie backdrop. Damn. You hate to see it. Sell you later. The Kansas City Shuffle. Oh, I'm surprised that that was um, as short as it was. I did miss a lot of stuff because I wasn't so focused on everything happening. But, you know. I mean, unless, of course, this is just like one step of it. Like, unless this is just the opening credits. But, yeah, we've been going for a while. I can see how this would be too short if someone was good at adventure games, but, you know. Look at all these arts of these fucking nerds. Dear Cat, we did it. We got out of there. And there's that motherfucker James Roach. Oh yeah, check out her blood nails. <laughs> okay, I do like the fact that you can like or spades a post. It's not even like dislike, it's just like, I like it, but I hate it. But I like it, but I hate it. Tell me crack, I know that name. I know those names. I feel like I know the name Ryan Morgan, too. I know we should have some good QA. Special thanks to Dante Basco. Hell yeah, brother. And then all the patrons. There are Kickstarter backers, because this is when Kickstarter was the bigger thing to do, uh, especially for like a, you know, final product like this. Made in Unity with What Pumpkin Games. Okay, cool. Is this anything? Yeah, okay, no, it's not. All right. We did it. We beat Hive Swap Act 1. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today. I think that on Friday or Saturday, probably Saturday. Mm, hmm. What do I want to do? Now, I've got to run errands and stuff on Friday tomorrow. So I'm going to plan for Saturday. Saturday, we're going to do Hive Swap Act 2. Which I'm going to like more because I have seen stuff from it already. And, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it'll be more. And I'm going to like it more, I think. So, uh, that's the plan. High School Act 2 on Saturday. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for coming by and hanging out and watching. Uh, hope to catch you all next time. Bye!